Go. Okay, so what we did today, we had a patient come in, initialist patient, uh, for his initial, uh, initial eval. And so we took a look, he had an existing denture, it was cracked, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna repair that as well, but today what we did, Dr. Peck talked about doing a new compression technique to make the custom tray. Um, we, we placed alginate in the intaglio surface All of right. the dentures. So, um, instead so, of talking about it. So here, so here is alginin, okay. Yep. And then while the alginin was setting up, we put some paper clips underneath here so it would stick to the stone. Under here is the, uh, the type three stone, okay. So we use that as the base. So it has an alginin on top that, that captures the intaglio surface and then a base of uh, type three stone. Um, same thing on the lower. So you took an impression of the inside, the inside of the denture. Correct. All right. This is a so that's the inside of the mandibular denture, right. the intaglio surface. Right. Made an impression of it. And then set that on on a type three stone. Yep. And then removed the dentures, and gave them back. You know, this is a good way to do it, I guess, if, if a patient doesn't has a problem with gagging or has a problem oh, with taking yeah, that's impression. Oh yeah, good idea. So, um, so what we're going to be doing right now with Mr. Bates is. We'll be doing a sprinkle technique with ortho resin to uh, make the custom trays. That's cool. I think we could use polyvinyl and uh, have a longer lasting impression. Then we don't have to do it right away. That is certainly a technique that we can do. I'm just thinking because this has to get done super fast. Well, it's just an idea. Polyvinyl is expensive in private practice, <coughs> so alginate is a quick way of doing it. That is true, sir. Cool. Thanks, guys.